Every day is different. Work in the shop here, work in the ceiling a little bit. And that projects, I got to run the generator. We've had a couple cloudy days. We got some sunshine today, but time to change oil. So we're just uh, setting myself up a, a sawhorse so it's high enough that it'll drain nicely into the bucket and I mix a little sawdust and a little bit of diesel fuel with it and it works really good for starting fires I don't keep a fire really going hard in the shop just enough to keep it warm Keep the truck in here and I might get a blade mounted on the quad. I'll see what see what uh, winter looks like. I'll be keeping the quad in here where it's warm and I can start it. But yeah, this little generator doesn't hold that much oil, so gotta be changed. I try not to let it get too many hours and uh, fairly quick fairly easy little just generators on the ground you can't drain the oil you gotta drain it into something and it just makes it Makes it nice to get it up and I know how much it uses so we're just not quite 0.4 so we'll get a can't really see but it's marked out so hmm. A cheap little bit. It's always hard, always hard pouring into these machines. But you know how much oil it takes. And we winter time, I have it outside where it's a little colder, so I usually. On a 5:30 in it. If it's really cold, I'll bring it back in the shop at night. I won't unless it's running through the night. During the days, a little warmer. Just a, a nice little spout on this can. And Just about take, just about take all of it. It's a little too full. I put point four. It always sounds better, runs smoother. It's happy when it gets an oil change. It's uh, it's one of my little problems with a few little things. Just bolts, bolts vibrating out, and stuff like that. My little leveler here. Legs, rubber legs, and it's not supposed to vibrate, but the.
vibrate out. I'm not sure why, it's just they vibrate a little, I guess. I'm gonna have to replace this little guy at some point. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna go with yet. I guess we'll we'll see, uh, do some checking around and see what my options are. There's lots of options and sometimes price is uh, matter more and sometimes quality you just have to buy uh, good quality and hopefully hopefully it'll last so we'll we'll see uh, maybe someone will come up with a, a good idea and uh, make me a great offer or something we'll see what happens but I got to get back to trying to get some work done in the shops. Well, one more, one more down, one more to go. So, a little servicing here. Generator's done. A little servicing of the batteries. Do that twice a year. I'm going to see if I can show you. I might be able to get these out without unhooking them all. Got them set up so they slide pretty good. Can't bring them all the way out because the wires get tight. So because I'm using uh, these ones here in the shop are a lead acid battery. So, you want to be careful. Make sure you have glasses on and uh, do a little research if you've never done this before. But you'll have to check the fluid levels. Um, depends on how hard you're using your batteries, I guess, but it should be checked at least uh, every six months. I like to check mine. First thing we're going to do is just try and move some wires so we don't have to unhook them. And uh, we're going to dust them off. We want these little caps to be clean. You don't want any dirt falling inside. Metal particles or Thing like that, so it just uh, yeah, it takes a it takes a minute, but I'm doing them every six months. You know, I'm sure everybody that wants to do it has time. There's a light in here whether we're going to be able to to see. There's caps, there's six caps. These are 12 volt batteries, deep cycle. And there's six caps in each. So we loosen them a little bit and then just uh, Yeah, this one's down. This one's down. <clears throat> so what I rigged up is a to be distilled water or you know, let it be clean. And then uh, I just put a little hole in the lid so I'm not getting water all over the place. You don't want to overfill them. Water. See down in that hole. Yeah. They open the next one up, and maybe you'll be able to see. So it's low. If one is low, they're probably all low. Yes. Bad, bad, bad. On my part. So I'm gonna try and. Kind of light, and you can see you can 
see there's uh, fins in the bottom of there. And the water has to stay above those at all times. So just to get a proper charger, you find your battery starts dying off and you have no power there. It, sometimes it's hard to tell depending on the time of year how much sunshine you're getting whether uh, you're losing battery power unnecessarily then it's time to do a little checking to the power stays up pretty good but there we go hey good morning hey afternoon good afternoon hey what are you doing what are you doing up here what color is your eyes what color is your eyes huh <laughs> uh, yeah, part of thing. all right well i got these batteries that's just one more thing maybe uh we'll get things sorted out and uh take you on a little house tour and i've got uh battery set up in there it's a little different than this and uh but yeah i don't think i've really got to taking anyone on a little house tour but maybe we'll get to that one of these days so it's cold outside three four days ago we were minus two in the afternoon and only you know nine or minus ten at night and last night we were down to what, 38 and uh, uh, Celsius of course but uh, 38 it's warmed up to 30 or 20 28 now that's a pretty balmy day outside <laughs> well, time to do a little work in the shop Well, they weren't too bad. A couple of them were a little lower than I'd like to see. We've had some hot, hot weather. Uh, and then, uh, you know, really good sunshine. It really makes the batteries work. And if they can't cool themselves enough. So, but these are all uh, 12 volt. You know, this hook just in a 12 volt system so it just, just runs some lights in the shop and if I want to use a skill saw cut a board or something and uh, I got a 11 cubic foot deep freeze that it runs outside in summertime and four batteries uh, work just fine batteries and little sunshine you know when you have daylight hours like we do in the summertime I mean we only get three or four hours that it's actually dark at night so you always get a little bit of light so you got a little bit of power coming into the batteries and you know, it's a little different when you're the first week of December you know they should all just slide right back <laughs> And you only get four hours of daylight. So your battery, you need quite a few more batteries to run you. If you're running much stuff, but in the winter time, my deep freeze usually gets unplugged once it gets cold. It's cold out there. I didn't unplug it yet because we were putting fresh meat in it. If you watch the last videos or, um, and uh, yeah it's just uh, mother nature looks after it it can cool off and then and then we just uh, unplug it unless we happen to have a really warm spell that just happens about
make your ice cream thaw out a little bit, but meat don't thaw out unless it gets pretty warm. So, but that's that's all I run uh, here. So, um, I know most people think, wow, you got to have a, a lot of batteries and a lot of solar panels, and uh, I give, showed you a little in the past here. I've only got four solar panels outside, <clears throat> and these are just hundred and five amp hour deep cycle batteries so I mean I've only got you know basically 400 amp hours and uh, so it it runs quite quite fine with with four batteries if we only had summertime and very short hours I mean, then you're going back to the same thing, right? I mean, short hours and you're running generator more or whatever, but long hours, it's all good. So we'll uh, catch up the road. Catch up the road a little later. Got more adventures.